16. 17. Mm, a little bit careless to leave himself low on the black there. He had plenty <coughs> of room for manoeuvre there. Which makes this black a little bit trickier. But he's knocked it in, and he's got a nice nudge off that little bunch of reds below the pink. And 24. Nicely on this red to the right corner. 25. And that'll do nicely. That could be the key to this frame. 32. <laughs> 61 points to lead, so two reds, two colours, and that will win in this sixth frame. And as you say, Willie, he couldn't afford to, to lose this frame, really. I think if he'd have lost it, all hope would have gone. But once again, just taking this length of time just to work out the shot, it looks plain sailing to me, pot this red, play up for the blue. You see, and he's missed the red. Gunner, I, I'm a great believer sometimes that you can see problems that aren't there. How disappointed is he walking back to his seat? Frame at his mercy. Sixteen. Well, what a time to miss Q. What a time to miss Q. And invariably, I have to say, when players miss Q, it's just a little careless. And they just dip at the last minute. And Adrian Gunnell is fortunate to get back to the table. And he comes back to the table with a 45-point lead. So it's still a couple of reds, a couple of colours needed. Surely he won't spurn this opportunity. One. Oh, no. I could have played that positional shot a little better. that red so he's okay Six. and this red is all he needs if he pots this red he goes 52 points in front which is 51 remaining Seven. so that's the frame well and truly over he needed it badly. He needed 14. a couple of chances. That's the worrying thing. 15. <clears throat> This will certainly give him some hope in this match, won't it? The fact that uh, if he'd have gone 5 1 behind, he wouldn't have fancied him at all. At 4 2, he's got a chance. Yep. Mark Allen Run concedes, uh, going to take a comfort break, so Adrian Gunnell has pulled one back, but he still trails by 4 to 2.
too sure this taking this on, but uh, I'm going to say if the Kiss Black would have been on if it had took it on. So he had to play a containing safety. Good pot. The rest of the flick on the yellow. One. Well, it's not bad. A flick on the yellow to leave him on the blue may have been nicer, but uh, yellow will, will be nice enough. I mean, obviously, he'd like to, like to have been on the blue, and then he gets the blue on its spot, and it makes it easier. But, uh, yep, it's all right. It could have been also oh different, John, couldn't it? The previous frame, Adrian definitely should have won, and it looks like he's in the balls now four. with the chance of scoring pretty heavy. He could have been, this frame could have been four all. Yep, absolutely. And that's how easy it can turn, but you get your chances, you've got to take them. Anyway, he's now got the blue on its spot in the middle of the table. Nine. Couldn't wish for a better opportunity than that, but as we saw in the last frame. Don't count your chickens. Yes, it's a lot easier to score heavily if you get on the black spot. Area. He's under hit that. He needed to be on the last red. Sixteen. Played that quite nicely, but he's going to have to play another good shot because nothing seems to pot in this left-hand corner, and uh, the angle he's got on the black, it's tough to screw up into those three reds. They're not necessarily straightforward, this at the moment. Decided to screw up into those three reds, and you can see he's hit them in the only place that it's not perfect. He's bemoaning his luck, but he's still on this red. It's only a half ball pot. And you were mentioned early on, John, sometimes he looks for things to go wrong. And that's only because you're not confident, isn't it? Yes, I think sometimes, you know, you're just trying to steady yourself on every shot, but uh, sometimes you've got to just take the the rough with the smooth. I mean, normally you'd expect him to pot this. And he has done. 24. And nice angle on the green. Just a case now of potting the green and judging the pace. Well, not for the first time. Missed the shot that he should have potted. Let's talk a bit more about John. What you were saying about how how he takes his a little bit too extra time. What, what actually can go through a player's mind when that happens? Well, you're looking for what can go wrong, rather than what can go right. You know, and 
That's the way I see it. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of players over the years, One. and we've played a few. You know, you see them play on the practice table, and they're very quick, very fluent. They get down, and and then as soon as they get out on that match table, they're, they're thinking, oh, well, if I play that cannon, is it going to go wrong? Will this, you, you know, am I going to finish too straight on this? Rather than just let the natural flow of things. That's definitely what's happened today with Adrian. He's had lots of chances in this match. OK, Mark Allen's played quite well, but he's given him lots of chances. He's given him another one here. Mark Allen won. You don't have to wait a long time for your chances in this uh, match, particularly after the interval. They've been coming thick and fast for both players. Eight. And he's 42 points in front, so if he doesn't win this frame from this position, he will be very disappointed. 14. He's still in this match at 5-3. Because Mark Allen is now starting to miss in the last three or four frames. When you consider Mark Allen was playing so well, he, the 68 50. he made was after three misses from Adrian. It wasn't uh, getting him first. So Mark Allen's not playing as good as he was before the interval. the eighth frame. Twenty-nine. And there will come a time where Adrian Gunnell's belief may come back. OK, he's on the brink with his opponent only needing 30. one more frame, but Mark Allen, it seems to me, has just sort of relaxed a little. And you don't want to give these top players... Thirty-seven. Too much rope. Yeah, one of my favourite sayings, took his foot off the gas, hasn't he? Yeah. That was a nice shot. He played that purposely, trying to knock the, the red over. I know it's easy now, the frame's over, you don't expect him to miss anything. But uh, Mark Allen may be just having a little 45. think about things. Forty-six. Yes, John mentioned it. has been a bit scrappy the last couple of frames that it has, but that won't worry Adrian Gunnell. Frame. The break yeah, ends at 46. His second highest break of the match, more than enough to take the frame. He now trails by five frames to three.